Jess, what a delight to have Karen on the show. We didn't know her very well before, but looks like somebody we're going to get to know much better. And uh, my gosh, you know, how vulnerable she was talking through um, the experience of grief she went through. But, you know, her epiphany is that we all go through grief. Um, and is it a time to grow? I thought that was pretty profound. Yeah, that is a seismic shift when you think about it, going from grief to, to growth. And, and really... You know, stepping back and saying, look, uh, I can change this. You know, I love the title of her book, Stop and Shift. You know, just stop for a minute and yeah. say, look, it, it, it can get better was one of my big takeaways. Um, actually, you said something that was a big takeaway for me in your advice to Tony. Uh, stop telling people, hey, you're going to be great. You're going to be great. <laughs> hey, uh, you'll get through this. That's a, a more reasonable goal, you know, when you're in a tough spot for sure. Well, because we, we hear it too from so much as we, as we consult is that, you know, failure is okay, right? And, and sometimes you'll try for something really big and it's okay to just do your best. And yeah, yeah we, we have so much measurement in our society, especially with our kids. And, and sometimes it's okay to have three typos, as she said. <laughs> right. That, that typo can ruin your day. And we've all had that happen, right? You publish an article and you go, oh, man, I can't believe it. You know, whatever. And, uh, and just to let it go and say, look, life is messy. I thought that was a great message to all of us is, look, yeah. life is a mess. It's never going to be perfect. <laughs> and that, yeah. that whole concept of we spend so much time taking the right picture of me reading the book that you stop reading the book. <laughs> and we've all done that, right? Yeah. Yeah. But and instead, you know, thinking about our social media as, look, here are my learning lessons, you know, just to say, yeah, you because know, we don't do that, right? We try to put our best forward, for, foot forward. But instead to say, here's what I learned. You know, I was mad on the freeway the other day and I thought about da, 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 whatever it is. You know, are we putting ourselves out there to be a little bit more vulnerable? Probably not. But isn't that more real? Yeah. And a couple of last things for me, that inner voice, the gremlin, you know, we've all done that. And, and she said it so wonderfully. You know, you start going down that rabbit hole and you start with the negative and it gets more and more negative and it ripples through you more and more negative. And all of a sudden you're back at that stupid place yeah. 10 years ago <laughs> in a conversation that no one but you remembers thinking what I should have said, yeah. you know, and of course it, it doesn't change. And then the, the last takeaway for me, which I just thought was wonderful, is start with something really simple. Mm -hmm. uh, that gratitude practice at the end yeah. of the day, which you and I are big fans of. I started with, I'm grateful for my pillow, I'm <laughs> grateful for my roof. And, you know, you start to go through uh, and then you realize that as big a mess as the world is yeah. out there, there are so many things that you can be grateful for. Well, I thought, yeah, that idea of gratitude can help us rewire our yeah. brains. Yeah. And we know that, right? We've seen that happen. Anytime somebody goes through psychotherapy, whether, you know, whatever, whatever type of therapy, I won't pick on any of them, but that you, you know, are part of, gratitude is part of that. You start yeah. thanking the people who have helped you where you are. And, and that is part of rewiring our brains to, to see the good. And so I think that's, that's really positive. And, um, you know, and finally, too, is just asking those questions of ourselves. When we're in those funks, as she, she do, so eloqu eloquently described, um, look, am I really going to lose everything? Am I really going to, does everybody really hate me? <laughs> um, am I, you know, catastrophizing the situation? Uh, what truth can I bring in? That can be really powerful. Yeah, she was just a delight. Great energy, great positivity, and, and obviously a great story. You know, if you can come back from what she went through, certainly we can come back from things that are much less traumatic and, and build great lives. Well, special thanks to all our listeners. Thank you so much for taking the time. And to our wonderful producer, Brent Klein, who uh, makes our mess sound uh, much better than, uh, than the original. And to Christy Lawrence, our wonderful associate producer who finds wonderful guests like Karen. And um, if you like the podcast, please share it. You know, we think there's some great best practices here, and, and we hope that you'll share it with friends that could also need it. Go to our website, thecultureworks.com. Lots of free resources there to help you and your, and your team thrive. And we love speaking to audiences around the world, virtually or in person, on the topics of culture, teamwork, resilience. So give us a call. We'd love to talk to you about your event to see what we can do to make it a success. 
And lastly, don't forget to buy the book. Come on, Adrian. You're anxiety yeah, at, anxiety work. at work. <laughs> right. And uh, again, listen to the podcast and share it with friends. Listen, it's been a delight to have some time with you here today. We hope there were one or two really good takeaways to help you in your mental health journey. And on that note, what do you always say, Adrian? Come on, the big finish. You say, until next time, we wish you the best of mental health. 